uh, I thought I'd tell you uh, something else that Venerable William said. Okay, <laughs> so um, uh, she was telling a story about, I'm not sure when it was, it was a recent story or an old story, you might remember from reading it, but um, one monk came to uh, the temple and uh, it spoke to a different temple where he didn't live, you know, and he was speaking to the abbot there, and uh, he was a new monk, so he was looking for a teacher, you know, somebody to study with. And the abbot there said, well, you know, who have you met so far? And he said, so-and-so, um, you know, is the one that I've really uh, been attracted to that I know is a good teacher. And the abbot said, have you studied with him? And he said, no. Uh, and then the abbot said, well, then how do you know he's a good teacher? And the monk said, well, um, when I stayed at the monastery, everything was very clean. Everything was very well organized. Uh, when they hit the, the, the wooden board to call people together, they hit it in the correct fashion. Um, everybody came whenever there was a signal to come for an activity. Everybody came. Everybody came on time. And so that's the way that I know that he's a good teacher, even though I haven't heard from him. And so Venerable Wuyen comments that, yes, you know, how our external behavior and uh, uh, how, our, how we keep our external environment is a reflection of our own mind and a reflection of what we care about and what we think is important. So in a monastery where things are clean and well organized, it, it indicates something, you know, different than a monastery where everything's all over the place and not very clean. <coughs> and when the people, you know, because they have a way to ring the, the gong and a way to ring the, the to hit the bell, to hit the um, wooden board, um, you know, if that's done properly, if everybody comes on time, everybody participates, then that says something uh, different than about a monastery where, uh, you know, they don't do that properly and then people don't come and they're doing their own trip and they come late and they leave early <laughs> and they're sleeping during it. And, um, you know, so she was just saying, you know, that uh, we shouldn't separate the inside and outside so much because uh, how we keep our environment, how we act um, physically and verbally is uh, dependent on, on our mind and what we value in our principles and how we want to live. And so that's how that monk knew that... Uh, that other teacher was a good teacher by watching the disciples. Yeah, and similarly, uh, you know, often people come here and they say, uh, you know, kind of, you know, they're they're all over and they're, you know, should I study this one, that one? What should I do? And I always tell them, look at the disciples of a certain teacher. Uh, and see what you think of them as human beings. Because if you study with that teacher, that's what you're going to become like. Yeah. And that, you know, that's how the teacher will train you. So, um, of course, you're hoping that the people aren't looking at the bad qualities of the disciple. <laughs> and thinking, oh, the teacher's going to train me like that. But, you know, if the whole group has a whole group mentality and is behaving in a certain way, and that isn't uh, what you know is good for you or what you respect, then that gives you some valuable information about whether to, you know, train with that teacher or stay at that place. 